Hey, what's up guys? So, welcome back to another... Is that something on my lip? Oh, I guess not. What's up guys? So, I'm back with another video. I'm coming to talk to you guys about the reason for uh, the vacation I went on, if I didn't mention it in the other videos. So, um, my grandmother wanted to go on one final vacation so my cousin's wife planned it um in a short amount of time it was like very very short turnaround to pay for this um, vacation and everything so my whole family wasn't able to go but a good amount of us were able to go and all of her children were there except for two of them so we did decide to go to the royalton um at punta cana dominican republic um, I'm in Maryland, and we flew out from, uh, the airport in Philadelphia, and it was a non-stop flight, which was great. We got to Punta Cana, um, it was super, super, super humid, so it was like, the first day was basically all travel, because by the time we got, actually got to Punta Cana and got to our hotel, it probably was about, um, it was some time in the after, like late afternoon, so we, we checked in. Um, we were able to do like um, a buffet lunch as a family our first night there, our first day, and then um, we went all went back to our rooms, check our rooms out, and everything.
<laughs> what? It's like it's like blueberry. It's like blueberry slushy with a little vodka or whatever. Yeah, literally a little vodka, a, a spritz. <laughs> This is our washroom. Very dim lighting. Shower. <laughs> a heart. I guess that's a Cadillac. Kind of Ocean view. Wow. It's gonna be a nice weekend, deed. A very nice, relaxing weekend, which is much needed. That's all of the death in my family this year. One cousin in February, my grandmother in April, and another cousin just last Wednesday, a week ago. Then got dressed and met up for, um, did we go to dinner that first night at a restaurant or no? We did. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. The first night we had buffet at lunch. And then I think we went to the buffet again for dinner the first night. No, the first night we went to the Mexican restaurant on the resort. And that was actually pretty good. I thought I would, we were there for um, seven days. Basically, no, eight days. From Wednesday to Wednesday. Um, we, we traveled there on a Wednesday, traveled back home on a Wednesday. So I was just sure that I would get the chance to get back to the uh, Mexican restaurant, but I wasn't able to. Um, I think my last night there, I took a, a tram from my side of the resort over to the Splash side of the resort where the Mexican restaurant was, and um, got over there and it was completely dark. That restaurant was actually closed. So I ended up coming back and meeting up with some of my cousins for the steakhouse resta restaurant. Um, one of them had made a reservation and I was able to go in under their reservation. Because once you have a certain amount of people coming to sit, they want you to put in a reservation. Um, Royal Temple to call it. It's, um, it's a small resort, I would say. Um, on that property, there was like the Royalton side and then there was something called royalty splash um i don't know what the difference was and also across from the side that i was on it was an area called the hideaway which was basically the adults only side they had like an adult only adults only restaurant that we found out about and the adults in our party traveling party were able to have um dinner there one night and i think it was called dora um the food was really good um, that might have been the best food that we had while we were there. Everything else, it kept, um, it was, if I'm not being too TMI, that food was running right through us. No matter if we went to the buffet, ordered room service, um, ate at the little bars, um, and snack shops around the resort. It was, it was just running through. 
Okay, I'm sorry. So that happened and it fell. Um, but as I was saying, the food kind of like ran through my whole family. Everybody was saying, you know, they didn't feel like their body adjusted to the food until maybe like to the last two or three days that we were there. Um, there was a, a, a Japanese restaurant, like hibachi style. We went there on Monday night for my little cousin's 15th birthday. His parents, well, his mom is the one who actually put the trip together. She's actually a, a, a travel agent by trade. So she put the trip together for our whole family. And we did have like a, um, we arrived on a Wednesday, did what we wanted to do on Thursday. And I believe, no, Thursday, we got together and had a ceremony. Um, for my grandmother so my aunt brought some of her ashes and my eldest cousin and one of my other female cousins my cousin that my grandmother raised she um she was more like a child to my grandmother um she they actually um you know took the ashes and dispersed of her ashes in the ocean off of the beach beaches of the resort um, we just like had like a, it was like a, like a cabana kind of thing outside and not a cabana. I forgot what you call it, but it did, it did have like an archway and the poles and everything like that. A gazebo, a gazebo. Um, my aunt got up there. She said a few things. Um, she allowed the kids or whoever wanted to say something, come up and say something. And then, um. We had, they had like a, a cardboard cutout of my grandmother in one of her favorite outfits. And it was the outfit that she wore for her 75th birthday party with these heels that she really, really loved. It was so funny to me because I felt like she could wear a higher heel than me at her age than I could at my age. Um, and at that party, she was turning 75, which means at the time I was in my, um, uh, I was in my mid thirties probably. And um so everybody got to say the things that they wanted to say. And then we also um made mention of my cousin because I had a cousin that passed away two weeks before we left for this trip. Um which was so sad because um only his immediate family, meaning like his mom and his brother and his son knew how sick he really was. None of us, I didn't even know that he was that sick until like that Sunday, I found out that he was actually sick. And that while my grandmother was in the hospital, we found the news out that she was gonna go to hospice and stuff. Um, the reason that he wasn't around is because he was in the hospital himself. But none of us knew that day. Um, it was his wishes that we didn't know what was going on. So his mom held on to his wishes and she didn't tell us. So like, the Sunday before he passed away, um, my aunt told me that he was sick. I think that was Sunday, June the 13th. Yeah, it was Sunday, June the 13th. Um, my aunt told me that he was, um, you know, that he was sick and stuff like that. And his mom was taking care of him. But I had no idea that he was, like, hospice sick. And then, like, Wednesday morning... I got a phone call from my aunt telling me that my cousin had passed. So it was like we dedicated some of that time. Um, when we talked about my grandmother, we talked about him. Then we did like a balloon release. And it was, um, we dedicated that to him as well. And it was so funny because we had this one big balloon that represented my grandmother. And it was this one long um, off-white balloon, smaller one that was lagging behind the rest of the balloons and it kept staying like right beside the big balloon which represented my grandmother. So my cousins kind of like felt like that was him like following by, behind our grandmother. So they're both in heaven, you know, together. My grandmother was famous for popping gum, dancing and roller skating and stuff. And I'll, I've been saying to myself over and over again that She's up there popping that gum, and my cousin, he's up there next to her um, at her bosom, and he's dancing, because that's what he used to do. He could dance really, really good. So, um, 
We did that. What else did we do? Oh, we had like a catamaran cruise day. So we all left. We left the resort, took a uh, bus to go to a beach area, and we met up with a crew. They uh they took us out on the boat. The boat had like a um a slide coming off the back of the boat. So I'll, um I'm gonna have video in here of all these things I'm speaking of. Um, but I, I'm gonna try to edit it so I don't I don't I'm not sure if my family wants to be put on you know on YouTube. So I'm gonna try to make sure I have it where you don't really see much of them. Because I'm not sure if they want to be on there. But anyway, so the catamaran cruise, we went out, we went in the water. Um, it was a day at sea, basically. They did snorkeling. And like I said, they had a, a sliding board of, um, that went into the water off the back of the boat. So um, some people did that snorkel, they slid off the boat. Um, they gave us a meal of like shish kebabs, like chicken kebabs, beef kebabs. Um, shrimp. It was some kind of mussels or oysters or something. And also, um, what else was on that plate? I don't remember. But, uh, oh, and lobster. It was lobster on the plate. Um, so that was a nice fun day. After we did that, it was like some shops right there at the beach where you could go shopping. Buy some little knickknacks, t-shirts, hats, whatever. You know, just a you know, commemorate your trip down there. We were able to do that. And then, uh, we traveled back to the resort. Um, and just hung out for the rest of the night from there. We were, like, most people were tired from that boat that day on the boat or whatever. They played music. We danced with the people or staff on the boat. Hopefully I can get some of that video in here as well. But, uh, that was a great day. And then, the rest of the days, we mostly spent time, you know, and I, with our cabana that we had, um, spending time in the pool. We had a game day where we did pool games. Uh, I helped my aunt plan the games and judge the games. I didn't actually participate. I judged them. Um, Matt came across some people from, like, other places in um, the USA, and one guy he really took a liking to some of the people in my family, so he kind of like, uh, stopped hanging with his group of friends. When he would see us, he would come and, uh, come hang out with us and stuff like that, so that was nice. But we had a really, really good time. Um, let me pause for a second and check something. I'll be right back. <laughs>